Houston! My name is Jason Hammond. I am the ASD manager at the Children's Museum of Houston, and I am going to do a story time for you today, brought to you by Philip 66, their Read Strong All Year Long campaign. And the story I'm going to be reading to you is called Sun, One in a Billion. It's actually probably one in a hundred trillion, but you'll see what I mean in a moment. And this is by Stacey McAnalty, and it's illustrated by Stevie Lewis. Let's go ahead and take a read on this one. Once upon a time, about 4.6 billion years ago, a long time ago, a magnificent and important star was born. And that magnificent and important star was me, your son with a capital S. And this is a happy son. Very, very, very proud to be a star. Yes, I am a star. Star, one, a massive and luminous ball of gas full of energy. Two, an outstandingly talented and popular performer. I fit both definitions. And you can see that it does. It's reading the dictionary and it's performing. I have never seen a star do that. Love it. The Milky Way galaxy has over 100 billion stars. That makes me one in a billion or uh, one in hundred billion. I'm not the biggest, so what? I'm not the brightest, who cares? I'm not the oldest, whatever. But I am the most important, at least to you earthlings. And you can see our star is not in the center of the universe, it's way on the side, and there's all the earthlings. Can you hang out for eight minutes? That's how long it takes my light to reach earth. Yep, I give you heat and light. You're welcome. I'm so important that earthlings should name a special day in my honor. We can call it Sunday. Oh, wait, we do have a Sunday, don't we? Look at the happy sun right there doing its work, giving us heat and energy and everything else. I'm famous for my heat and light, but I also hold our entire solar system together. Scientists call it gravity. What can I say? The planets are attracted to me. It seems reasonable. It's a good looking star. And because I'm the center of our solar system, it life revolves around me, literally. Neptune, Neptunian year equals 60,190 Earth days. Uranus, Uranian year equals 30,687 Earth days. Saturn, Saturnian year equals 10,756 Earth days. Jupiter, Jovian year equals 4,333 Earth days. Mars, Martian year equals 687 Earth days. Uh, Earth, Earth year equals 365 Earth days. Venus, Venusian year equals 225 Earth days. Mercury, Mercurial year equals 88 Earth days. And everything, as you can see, is going around that sun. Those other stars are far, far away from Earth, which makes them look teeny tiny and not so important. I'm close, a mere 93 million miles from Earth. To an Earthling, I look like this. That little star right there. Ugh. But to Neptunians, I am 2,795,000,000 miles away, and I look like this. If there were Neptunians, there's no life on Neptune. So if you look at that little arrow right there, that blue arrow, that's how the sun would look to Neptune, which is pretty far away. Technically, I'm a yellow dwarf star but I'm still a big, big deal. If I were the size of a basketball, Earth would be smaller than a grain of sand. You can fit about one million Earths inside me. That's a lot of Earths. And you can see it right there, all those Earths being fit inside on this side. But you can't fill me with Earths because I'm hot stuff, compare. A hot summer day, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, what we're going through in Texas right now. A pizza oven, 700 degrees Fahrenheit. The orange yellow flames in a campfire, about 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Me, at my center, 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Hot, hot, hot. And you can see all those comparisons. Ancient earthlings thought I circled the earth. Can you imagine me revolving around the earth? And some might think that I sit in the sky all day and all night, but I got moves, baby, I'm spinning. And because I'm not solid, my middle moves faster than my top and bottom. So 
So the middle is about 25 Earth days to rotate. The top of the bottom is about 36 Earth days to rotate. Don't try this at home. And you can see how they used to think. Things would go all around this Earth. And over here, you can see how it's spinning in different directions. I'm not only important, I'm generous and good looking. Sunrises, sunsets, northern lights, southern lights, sit back and enjoy the show. And you can see it's very, very colorful in comparison to the Earth. Sometimes I like to be mysterious and sneak away for a few minutes. Solar eclipse, but don't worry, I'm just behind the moon. While I'm astronomically bigger than the moon, 400 times wider, the moon is astronomically closer to the Earth, almost 400 times closer. So there you go. That's how that works. And you can see it happening right there. My neighbor stars have fancy names. Meet Proxima Centauri, Alpha Centauri A, and Alpha Centauri B. Proxima Centauri is on the top. Alpha Centauri is right next to the sun, or B is right next to A, so it's like the smallest is on the top. The littlest, or the middle one is to the left, and the biggest is to the right, just so you can, can't see the uh, words. Me, I just need three letters. Give me an S, give me a U, give me an N. What does that spell? Sun! Sun, sun, he's our star, light and heat from afar. Please note, that's a capital S, I am important. And there's the sun cheering away. Not to hog the spotlight, but I still got it. I'm the same hot, bright star I've always been. A stable star is a good star. You don't want your sun getting hotter or cooling off. That would be really messy. Yes, it would be. So you can see the sun's just happy to be there and everything's good to go as of right now. So grab your shades. I plan to be in the biz for another five billion years. You and me, we've got a bright future together. And there's the sun wearing its sunglasses, which I think is pretty funny. And that is the end. Now, in the back of this, it has all kinds of stuff about the sun, but I think y'all can look that up yourself. So, that was a fun book. I liked that it was kind of like, you know, jovial and jolly. Uh, and I like that to get you interested in our astronomical universe. So, I am Jason Hammond, the ACE team manager at the Children's Museum of Houston, wishing you a very, very good day. Hope to see you soon and goodbye.